Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Babe and hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all another New World video and this time it's going to be a guide on leveling up your armoring trade skill. So in this guide I'm going to be going over exactly how to level it or how I did rather and also how to make a little bit of money while doing it possibly. And lastly I'll be covering why you should even consider leveling up your armoring or any other trade skill for that matter. So if you do enjoy this video or it does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help the channel get noticed to and recommended to a lot more people. And on top of that, I really do appreciate it. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight into this guide. So here we're going to be starting off at the outfitting station. And the outfitting station is where I practically leveled all of my armoring skill. As you can see here in the top right, we're nearly armoring skill 180, which is approaching 200. That's definitely going to be where you want to be in the end, but I'll show you a little bit along the way how you can possibly make some money as this can be a pretty long journey, especially if you're not really stacked on money or too keen on farming a bunch of stuff. But speaking of leveling up, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I did it, and it's really not that complicated. So I have went with the linen path or the light gear path for anyone that doesn't know that you can actually level up armoring in three different paths. Whether you go with the light armor or right here, the leather armor, or if you go over to the forge, you can go with the heavy armor route. To make it simple and sweet, I simply found that the leather armor requires a lot of raw hide to make the coarse leather. And for the iron armor, you need a lot of iron ingots, which requires iron ore. And both of those items, I found there to be a lot of competition and it really hard to farm a very significant amount of the items to make the gear. Anyone that has any experience with any of the crafting or trade skills that you are leveling up, such as weaponsmithing or arcana, know that it is pretty expensive or time consuming, whatever you want to call it. It requires an absurd amount of very low level items in order to level those skills up. And for a quick transition over here to the loom, just to quickly show you, it's going to take four fiber to make one linen, four linen to make one satin, two satin to make one silk, and finally two silk to make one infused silk. Double check my math on this, but I think that means you're gonna need just about 64 of the base fibers in order to make a single infused silk. And you're gonna need hundreds of infused silk if you want to level up your armoring. So now that I'm done scaring you, luckily the leveling process for actually getting up your armoring skill is very, very simple. So whenever you are level zero, you do get quite a few options and we're really only going to be paying attention to about two or three of these. The main ones here is going to be the different types of gloves. So hand wraps as well as the gloves both require the same amount of materials and are practically the same in every single way, except for the way they look. They're going to require four of the linen, four of the coarse leather, as well as one iron ingot. Of course, you can use higher level stuff, but why would you? And it's going to be the same for the linen hand wraps as well. Of course, make sure to change these back to the base items as it does default to your more expensive higher level items, which you definitely don't want to be using. So once you have all the stuff for the hand wraps, you can also go through and do shoes if you want. It is a little bit more expensive and also maybe leggings are pretty decent as well. Both of these are not as efficient for hand wraps, but if for whatever reason you want a change of pace in your crafting, then you can totally jump on either of those two items and it wouldn't be the biggest deal in the world. What's nice about whenever you are crafting is you are going to have pretty much the same exact outline or template for whatever you're making, except for the primary ingredient. So as you can see, infused silk gloves here. It is going to take four infused silk, which is the primary ingredient, but you can still use four coarse leather and one iron ingot. So it's nice that the other two ingredients don't change. And of course, you will not be adding any additional uh, reagents into whatever you're making because you're just going to immediately salvage them afterwards. And this is the same case where you can go through and just keep making gloves all the way up to 200. And like I said, feel free to skip around every once in a while, make yourself an upgrade, make your friends some gear. Whatever you want, that's totally fine. But as far as I understand, the most efficient way and the way I've done it is by usually just making gloves. Let me know down in the comments below if there is a different or better way to level up your armoring. That's just simply what I found works for me. That's kind of an overarching theme for this video as well. A lot of these are going to be my experiences and what I think work well. 
So let me know if, again, there is something I'm missing out on or forgetting to say down below in the comments. So as far as how to make some money while actually leveling this. So there isn't going to be a ton of ways to make money while leveling most trade skills. But luckily, armoring is cool in that you can actually potentially make some decent money while leveling it up. Not a ton, but just a few bits and bobs here and there. You can possibly make some really good money if you get a nice piece of armor that you make. You can actually make like harvesting gear, gear that gives you extra luck while chopping down wood. Or maybe just a really nice piece of gear that happens to have two fire staff perks on it that you happen to really like that you can use or that you can sell to a friend. Besides the occasional luck there for getting decent gear, you can actually scroll all the way down to the bag section. And this has been in my moneymaker videos previously, and this is something I still use to this day. So of course you're gonna make the most amount of money potentially with the highest level bag, but even the lower level bags, you can still see some money. Maybe not with the lowest level bag, and it's going to be very sparse here and there for even the rugged bags. Once you get up to the layered leather bags, you can still see a really good amount of money. I think anywhere between five and 700 gold on my server. But of course, that's going to differ from server to server. And also how easy it is for you to get the leather that you need to make this. And the main bottleneck for making a ton of bags is going to be these runes of holding, of course. As always, it's going to take a lot of faction points to get these. So only use it if you don't need the faction points and, or if you need some extra money. But if you do have everything you need, not only are leather bags a great way to make money, but you can also use them to level yourself up. As you can see, making the highest tier bags, you're gonna get 12,000 experience and that is a significant amount. What I like to do and what my company likes to do is because I am the highest armorer in our company, a lot of people will send me requests and ask what type of materials I need in order to make the layered or infused bags, depending on their budget. I'll send them over exactly what they need and they'll come back with all of the materials. All you need is some leather, some linen, as well as some iron. So once you have the leather, linen, iron, and the grand rune of holding or whatever rune of holding that your company mate gives you, you can whip it up for them. They can give you some vials of suspended Azoth to cover the charge here and that'll be good to go. You can make them a really nice bag and they'll be happy. You'll get some experience, so you'll be happy. Everyone's gonna be happy and it's a great way to level up. So that is a way to make some decent money as well as some friends if you are in a company. One honorable mention that I don't wanna forget is if you scroll all the way down past all of the jewelry and stuff, a potential decent way, maybe not to make money, but to make some useful items that you can distribute to your friends, people you play with, or someone in your company, is going to be these Oak Flesh Balms. Now, I have heard a lot of people say that these are really great and easy ways to level up your armoring, as you can make them pretty early on, and they don't require a lot. As you can see, the base ones just require a few moats. So if you do have a few hundred moats lying around, or if you have been working on Arcana and have leveled them up to Wisps or Essences, then I would recommend maybe checking this out and seeing if this is a great way for you to level up your Armoring. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of experience, but it can just be a little bit extra here and there, especially if you don't plan on using all of the other ingredients. I definitely would stay away from the powerful bombs as this is very, very expensive to make. I haven't seen any quintessences that are really inexpensive except for the life ones that you get from the wolves. But of course, let me know if your experience has varied down below. So here we are over at the arcane repository and I wanted to run over here just to show you that this can be used for a lot of different trade skills. So the final point I wanted to make is why maybe you should even consider leveling a trade skill to begin with. It's a lot of money, time, and effort going into these trade skills, and I'm gonna show you why it could possibly be worth it in the end. This is applicable to pretty much every single trade skill that I've seen so far, at least for the most part. And I'll even show you here in this potion making. So here in the Arcane Repository, of course you can make weapons, and this is gonna be one of the main reasons that I think you should consider it, is you can make the best end game gear the top of the line whether that means you are going to be rocking the best end game gear or you're going to be selling it for a huge profit making money hand over fist either way i think that is going to be a huge driving factor and i just wanted to show you one of the weapons that you can make here at the arcane repository 
So if we go down here all the way to the bottom, you can see this item here, the Master Cryomancer's Gauntlet. The base potential gear score is 590, which is huge. You're able to buff that all the way up to over 600 if you have trophies in your houses, if you have gear that increases the items that you make. Not only that, it tells you what it has on it. It has great stats, a socket, as well as three pretty good perks. This is going to be one of the most sought after items, not just this weapon, but just all end game legendary weapons. You can make them from a weapon smithing from this here. There's a ton of different ways to get these legendaries and every different crafting skill trade skill is going to have their own and be valuable in their own way. So this is going to be one of the main, if not the main draw to leveling stuff up like this. I personally want to make some really great gear and sell it on the market and also use it. If you're one of the first people to have a legendary on your server, that's gonna be a pretty big deal. And uh, it takes so long to level up and get the materials necessary. That's gonna take a really long time for other players to catch up, especially if they don't have the hookup to a 200 crafter like yourself or like someone else in your company. So that's gonna be the end of my pitch here for this video on why I think you should level up or at least consider leveling up any of your trade skills or becoming really good friends with someone that does in your company. So that's gonna be about it for this video. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know down in the comments below and I really do hope you enjoyed it and it helped you out to some extent. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you all very soon.